guys and welcome back to Tennessee Grilling and Smoking. I'm Dustin and guys I know I haven't posted in forever. I haven't done a cooking video and it's driving me crazy so finally let's get back to it. What I've been doing is I've, I've just been so busy. Me and my dad we've been working on the smoke shack and uh, guys check it out. Finished it up. I'll tell you what I couldn't be happier with it. I absolutely love it. It's got all the space in there I'll ever need for cooking. Uh, for my obsession like my wife says I've got a Everybody says I've got a little bit of a problem, but hey, you know, you do what you do. But anyhow, yeah, guys, I got my patio lights hooked up in here. Come on in here, let's check it out. All right, right here, I go one ahead and put two bars right here beside my blackstone because every time I've been cooking with my blackstone, I just run out of room. I have two little shelves on there, but that's never enough. So I said, hey, let's put some big old, let's kind of build it into it, and uh, it works out perfect. We just got through cooking separate day. I made an egg roll in a bowl, and uh, man all the room I needed, uh, I'm in love with it. So, worked out perfect. Went ahead, went ahead and made my room for my old pit boss here, the pellet smoker. Uh, went ahead, I got it leveled up pretty good. They made the they made the patio on a little bit of a slope for the water to drain down, so I had to build it up with some wheel chocks, but got it leveled out really nice. Went ahead and pulled in my, my old uh, Oklahoma Joe in here and got my Weber sitting right here in the corner. So guys, yeah, I've got enough room in here for about, I don't know, two or three more grills. And uh, maybe a brick oven, I, <laughs> I don't. But check this out right here. This was my wife's idea. I was wanting to put a, I was wanting to put a bar down the side here, and she said not to. She said just go ahead and buy a toolbox. And I said, oh, yeah. so I'm gonna check that out. That's all the room and storage I'll need for all my spatulas, my scrubbing brushes, my barbecue and stuff. Oh, check this out right here. Tennessee grilling and smoking coasters. I think so. Might be doing a giveaway here pretty soon. So yeah, pretty excited about that. Got it, went ahead and hung up my, my sticker board and I apologize for that. I'm so far behind on my mail call, months behind on it. I've got so many stickers in there I need to do it. It'll take me 15 minutes just to go through that video. But yeah, I got that hung up and uh, I'm gonna get back into my mail call. I'm gonna get my stickers and I'll fill that board up and probably buy another one. And my goal is just to have sticker board all across this thing because you're the reason, these right here, this is what I like the most about everything. These guys right here are my first subscribers. And uh, man, that's what it's all about, just the barbecue community. So I'm really, really proud of my, everybody that sends the stickers. I love any kind of merch anybody can trade with me. So pretty excited about it. And uh, you can see I've just got a few little lights on here. Can't really see right now because it's daytime. Check this out right here. I know you can't see it too good right now because it's, wearing, it's still kind of daylight outside. But uh, just put a little, uh, little battery power pop lights up here on the top and at night time this lights it up just like daytime you don't have to worry about wondering what your wondering what your brisket looks like in your smoker at night you ain't got to carry a flashlight and hold it and everything like that it's just absolutely perfect so yeah i'm really really excited about it really happy with it uh i want to know what i'm missing i feel like i'm still missing a few things so tell me in the comments what you got in your smoke shack that i'm really going to be needing uh like right here i'm going to build a little about this dowel rod, I'm going to build a little holder for my butcher paper so whenever I'm wrapping up a brisket or wrapping up whatever ribs, I can just pull it out and tear it off. So I'm going to have that, but I still feel like I'm missing something else. So if you can think of anything that you have in your smoke shack that would be awesome to and very handy to have in here, let me know, guys. Get in the comments, let me know. Check this out right here. Wife well, made that for me in a little pottery class. It's pretty cool. Love it. And I also want to shout out to Stephen with Southern Shade out of Knoxville for making this killer patio right here. I mean, he has done so good. They colored the concrete, they stamped it, they threw this powder on there, some kind of an accelerant. Brings out the detail in it. They've done such a great job. And uh, I love it. It's, it's completely transformed my backyard to everything I wanted it to be. You can see the fire pit they built here. It's 50, or 54 inches from uh, side to side. My God, if you fill that whole thing up with wood, you're gonna have a bonfire instead of a cookout. So. It's perfect. I even have, might even do a video on this right here. Didn't even think about it until now. Just got your little grates you put on and up and down right there. Throw you some burgers on there, some hot dogs. That's all you need. So yeah, Stephen with Southern Shade. Thank you, man. Great guy. If you're here local, Knoxville area, Greenback, Maryville, give him a give him a shout. Uh, I'll try to find a way to tag him on the in the link of the video. But uh, Southern Shade. But, yeah, my wife's idea to run the tiki lights across the porch at night time. Everything, uh, everything lights up really, really good. I might, I might turn the camera back on before I go to work tonight when it gets dark and uh, 
show you the difference. I'll definitely show it at the end of the video of before and after because I've got a picture of this place right here in the backyard before we started all this. And after, night and day. Oh, check it out. Look at this. So I'm going to have stuff on the smoker. I'm going to have a bonfire going. Go ahead and throw a movie on the projector screen. <laughs> it's perfect, guys. I'm absolutely in love with this backyard. It's everything that I've ever wanted. Uh, it just looks great. I ran a little thing today. I ran a little uh, strip of LED lights underneath the bar. So at night, it's going to illuminate and change the colors whatever we want. And I just put this fan up today. So if you're out here, just like today, it's kind of hot. Probably end up putting this other fan over there, but just little things like that I'm going to do here and there. But definitely, I'm looking for some feedback. So if you got something in yours, if you know something that I should put on here to make it great, let me know. Guys, I really appreciate all the uh, comments and all the subscribers I have. My channel's kind of boomed, and you know, I, lo I know a lot of it's from my boy's little viral video that's over a million hits right now. But a lot of it's guys that's got on there and sent me messages about, hey, I saw this video, great job, and asked me questions about how I do things. And I really appreciate those kind of comments, guys. It, it, it blesses me to know that people really like to sit and watch me do what I like to do. And uh, so I'll definitely be getting back into the videos again. Uh, now that I'm finally thinking I'm going to calm down a little bit and have a little extra time. I'm going to get those videos cranked out. Oh, speaking about videos. Does anybody know what this right here is? What kind of gourd this is? blue my freaking mind this will be my next video so stay tuned you'll figure out what this is i couldn't believe it <laughs> anyhow add's kicking in but thanks to steven with the uh for the patio my dad especially my dad for helping me with this you know i can do some things but uh, i'm not a very good carpenter he is he's really really good when it comes to just he, he's always been there for me so i can't thank him enough but yeah guys still gonna add on to it just let me know in the comments what you think and uh I'll see you next time. Have a great day.